Mesoamerica is a region and cultural area in the Americas, extending approximately from central Mexico to Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, and northern Costa Rica, within which pre-Columbian societies flourished before the Spanish colonization of the Americas in the 15th and 16th centuries. It is one of six areas in the world where ancient civilization arose independently, and the second in the Americas along with Norte Chico in present-day northern coastal Peru. As a cultural area, Mesoamerica is defined by a mosaic of cultural traits developed and shared by its indigenous cultures. Beginning as early as 7000 BC, the domestication of maize, beans, squash and chili, as well as the turkey and dog, caused a transition from Paleo-Indian hunter-gatherer tribal grouping to the organization of sedentary agricultural villages. In the subsequent formative period, agriculture and cultural traits such as a complex mythological and religious tradition, a numeric system, and a complex calendric system, a tradition of ball playing, and a distinct architectural style, were diffused through the area. Also in this period, villages began to become socially stratified and develop into chiefdoms with the development of large ceremonial centers interconnected by a network of trade routes for the exchange of luxury goods, such as obsidian, jade, cacao, cinnabar, spondylus shells, hematite, and ceramics. While Mesoamerican civilization did know of the wheel and basic metallurgy, neither of these technologies became culturally important. Among the earliest complex civilizations was the Olmec culture, which inhabited the Gulf Coast of Mexico and extended inland and southwards across the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. Frequent contact and cultural interchange between the early Olmec and other cultures in Chiapas, Guatemala and Oaxaca laid the basis for the Mesoamerican cultural area. All this was facilitated by considerable regional communications in ancient Mesoamerica, especially along the Pacific coast. This formative period saw the spread of distinct religious and symbolic traditions, as well as artistic and architectural complexes. In the subsequent pre-classic period, complex urban polities began to develop among the Maya, with the rise of centers such as El Mirador, Calakmul and Tikal, and the Zapotec at Monte Alban. During this period, the first true Mesoamerican writing systems were developed in the Epi Olmec and the Zapotec cultures, and the Mesoamerican writing tradition reached its height in the classic Maya hieroglyphic script. Mesoamerica is one of only five regions of the world where writing was independently developed. In central Mexico, the height of the Classic period saw the ascendancy of the city of Teotihuacan, which formed a military and commercial empire whose political influence stretched south into the Maya area and northward. Upon the collapse of Teotihuacan around AD 600 competition between several important political centers in central Mexico, such as Xochicalco and Colula, ensued. At this time during the EPI Classic period, the Nahua peoples began moving south into Mesoamerica from the north and became politically and culturally dominant in central Mexico as they displaced speakers of Otomangan languages. During the early post-classic period, central Mexico was dominated by the Toltec culture, Oaxaca by the Mixtec, and the lowland Maya area had important centers at Chichen Itza and Mayapan. Towards the end of the post-classic period, the Aztecs of central Mexico built a tributary empire covering most of central Mesoamerica. The distinct Mesoamerican cultural tradition ended with the Spanish conquest in the 16th century. Over the next centuries, Mesoamerican indigenous cultures were gradually subjected to Spanish colonial rule. Aspects of the Mesoamerican cultural heritage still survive among the indigenous peoples who inhabit Mesoamerica, many of whom continue to speak their ancestral languages and maintain many practices harking back to their Mesoamerican roots. 
Etymology and definition. The term Mesoamerica, literally, Middle America, in Greek, is defined as the area that is home to the Mesoamerican civilization, which comprises a group of peoples with close cultural and historical ties. The exact geographic extent of Mesoamerica has varied through time, as the civilization extended north and south from its heartland in southern Mexico. The term was first used by the German ethnologist Paul Kirchhoff, who noted that similarities existed among the various pre-Columbian cultures within the region that included southern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, a western Honduras, and the Pacific lowlands of Nicaragua and northwestern Costa Rica. In the tradition of cultural history, the prevalent archaeological theory of the early to middle 20th century Kirchhoff defined this zone as a cultural area based on a suite of interrelated cultural similarities brought about by millennia of inter- and intra-regional interaction. Mesoamerica is recognized as a near-prototypical cultural area, and the term is now fully integrated in the standard terminology of pre-Columbian anthropological studies. Conversely, the sister terms Aradoamerica and Oasa America, which refer to northern Mexico and the western United States, respectively, have not entered into widespread usage. Some of the significant cultural traits defining the Mesoamerican cultural tradition are sedentism based on maize agriculture, the construction of stepped pyramids, the use of two different calendars, Vigizimal number system, the use of locally developed pictographic and hieroglyphic writing systems, the use of rubber and the practice of the Mesoamerican ball game, the use of bark paper for ritual purposes and as a medium for writing, the practice of various forms of sacrifice, including human sacrifice, a religious complex based on a combination of shamanism and natural deities, and a shared system of symbols a linguistic area defined by a number of grammatical traits that have spread through the area by diffusion. Geography, located on the Middle American Isthmus joining North and South America between California, 10 degrees and 22 degrees north and latitude, Mesoamerica possesses a complex combination of ecological systems, topographic zones, and environmental contexts. A main distinction groups these different niches into two broad categories, the lowlands and the altiplanos, or highlands. In the low-lying regions, subtropical and tropical climates are most common, as is true for most of the coastline along the Pacific and Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. The highlands show much more climatic diversity. Ranging from dry tropical to cold mountainous climates, the dominant climate is temperate with warm temperatures and moderate rainfall. The rainfall varies from the dry Oaxaca and North Yucatan to the humid southern Pacific and Caribbean lowlands. Cultural sub-areas Several distinct sub-regions within Mesoamerica are defined by a convergence of geographic and cultural attributes. These subregions are more conceptual than culturally meaningful, and the demarcation of their limits is not rigid. The Maya area, for example, can be divided into two general groups, the lowlands and highlands. The lowlands are further divided into the southern and northern Maya lowlands. The southern Maya lowlands are generally regarded as encompassing northern Guatemala, southern Kamcha and Quintana Roo in Mexico, and Belize. The northern lowlands cover the remainder of the northern portion of the Yucatan Peninsula. Other areas include central Mexico, west Mexico, the Gulf Coast lowlands, Oaxaca, the southern Pacific lowlands, and southeast Mesoamerica. Topography There is extensive topographic variation in Mesoamerica, ranging from the high peaks circumscribing the Valley of Mexico and within the central Sierra Madre Mountains to the low flat lands of the northern Yucatan Peninsula. The tallest mountain in Mesoamerica is Pico de Orizaba, a dormant volcano located on the border of Puebla and Veracruz. Its peak elevation is 5,636 meters. 
The Sierra Madre Mountains, which consist of several smaller ranges, run from northern Mesoamerica south through Costa Rica. The chain is historically volcanic. In central and southern Mexico, a portion of the Sierra Madre chain is known as the EJE Volcanico Transversal, or the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt. There are 83 inactive inactive volcanoes within the Sierra Madre range, including 11 in Mexico, 37 in Guatemala, 23 in El Salvador, 25 in Nicaragua, and 3 in northwestern Costa Rica. According to the Michigan Technological University, 16 of these are still active. The tallest active volcano is Popocatépetl at 5,452 meters. This volcano, which retains its Nahuatl name, is located 70 kilometers southeast of Mexico City. Other volcanoes of note include Tacana on the Mexico-Guatemala border, Tajamulco and Santa Maria in Guatemala, Izalco in El Salvador, Momo Tombo in Nicaragua, and Arenal in Costa Rica. One important topographic feature is the Isthmus of Tehuantepec a low plateau that breaks up the Sierra Madre chain between the Sierra Madre del Sur to the north and the Sierra Madre de Chiapas to the south. At its highest point, the isthmus is 224 meters above mean sea level. This area also represents the shortest distance between the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean in Mexico. The distance between the two coasts is roughly 200 kilometers. Although the northern side of the isthmus is swampy and covered with dense jungle, the isthmus of Tehuantepec, as the lowest and most level point within the Sierra Madre mountain chain, was nonetheless a main transportation, communication, and economic route within Mesoamerica. Bodies of water outside of the northern Maya lowlands, rivers are common throughout Mesoamerica. Some of the more important ones served as loci of human occupation in the area. The longest river in Mesoamerica is the Uzuma Cinta, which forms in Guatemala at the convergence of the Salinas or Chicxoy and La Pasión River and runs north for 970 kilometers to 480 kilometers of which are navigable, eventually draining into the Gulf of Mexico. Other rivers of note include the Rio Grande de Santiago, the Grijalva River, the Motagua River, the Ulua River, and the Hondo River. The northern Maya lowlands, especially the northern portion of the Yucatan Peninsula, are notable for their nearly complete lack of rivers. Additionally, no lakes exist in the northern peninsula. The main source of water in this area is aquifers that are accessed through natural surface openings called snouts. With an area of 8,264 square kilometers, Lake Nicaragua is the largest lake in Mesoamerica. Lake Chapala is Mexico's largest freshwater lake, but Lake Texcoco is perhaps most well known as the location upon which Tenochtitlan, capital of the Aztec Empire, was founded. Lake Petanitza, in northern Guatemala, is notable as the location at which the last independent Maya city, Tiasal, held out against the Spanish until 1697. Other large lakes include Lake Atitlan, Lake Isabel, Lake Guia, Lema, and Lake Managua. Biodiversity Almost all ecosystems are present in Mesoamerica, the more well-known of the Mesoamerican barrier reef system, the second largest in the world, and La Mosquitia rainforest second in size in the Americas only to the Amazonas. The highlands present mixed and coniferous forest. The biodiversity is among the richest in the world, although the number of species in the red list of the IUCN is growing every year.